We've been here now two years, a bit more than two years, and I still feel very much as if I'm discovering things about uh, the place. And this is the same uh, case for working uh, in, in any other great building like, like the Salk. But this place makes an immediate impression, I mean, especially from the outside or in the, the spaces near here where the, the uh, window opens onto the sea. Um, it's a dramatic building, no doubt. And this building has sort of the shape of a ship departing. And, and has the big windows of a ship. Now, in modern world, we know a lot about the geography of the Earth, but there are a lot of unknowns. So I imagine this ship departing to understand what our brain is and uh, what, how to I improve treatment for cancer. And so this is another, it's, it's a metaphor, but you work inside the metaphor. architecture sculpture but it's sculpture for use for human use and so it has the openings for light air doors windows and it's very important that those openings don't spoil the sculpture but they make it more perfect more beautiful it has the gestures of human occupation that is what architecture is about This really is a kind of non-building because the walls you're looking at, these big curved walls, they really could be landscape. They're really creating this pathway to, to the Atlantic Ocean, which is uh, the whole point of the site. And um, the nice thing about these walls is that they also divide the site into the public areas, which is given back to the city of Lisbon, to the citizens, to come and enjoy this place. And then the semi-private areas, which is where the science and the medicine takes place. And they coexist in a kind of thing which the Chinese call yin-yang, which is wonderful. Both yin and yang, one is positive, one is negative, are equally important. So the public space here is 50% of the site given back to the city by the foundation, but it still keeps enough for, the, for this work, research work to go on. And um, these walls with their big cutouts, etc., uh, allow enough privacy for the public. They don't feel that they're disturbing patients. And for the patients, they have enough privacy that they don't feel they have people looking at them. And this all comes from really very old principles. And of course, at the end of this walkway is where you, you reach the river and then the ocean. But first you see this body of water where you have this enigmatic object in it. It could be an island, it could be a, it could be a jellyfish, a Portuguese man of war. It's what you go in search of. It's what drives you to discover. So that is the analogy which ties the, the great navigators to today's scientists, both here in Portugal, both on the same site.
This building is extremely beautiful. This center is extremely beautiful. It sits in a very special place in Lisbon, in a historical part of Lisbon, and it pays tribute to the meaning of, of this area of the, of the city. And, uh, and there's only a, a, an architect who is a genius, could design, could understand, and, and could make happen. And uh, so I said, we are extremely privileged to have, have him and have him as our architect. A building cannot move, and that is both its handicap but it's great strength because a building is rooted in its place, in the climate, in the soil, in the, in the materials, in the culture, and in the aspirations. And I think that's what a building has to express. So history is part of it, aspirations equally, and what we are talking about in this river is aspirations, which made history.